What are you laughing at already? I like his, his screaming is good. Good morning, everybody. I thought that's just part of the deal. It's Tim Heidecker calling in, being here. <laughs> I'm calling in from my mind. And it is, uh, well, look, let's be honest. It's March 14th. Let's not fuck around. Let's yeah. not beat around the bush. It's 10.02 in the morning. It's 10.03 now uh, in Glendale. Very windy. I of often do the weather report right off the bat because I think it paints a picture of where, where we're coming from. Even though we are indoors, as you can tell, you can look out the window behind us. Beautiful view of Glendale. And one of my friends back here pointed out that if this were to be the case, if this were an accurate window with us looking at it, we would in fact not be in Glendale, but looking at Glendale from a high atop a skyscraper of some kind. Is that correct? Pretty I funny. looked it up. I checked our facts. It is from the, the, uh, the cemetery. Okay, so oh, it might uh, technically it still yeah. be in Glendale. Yes, okay, from great. Forest Lawn. Forest All right, Forest well, we Lawn are... Cemetery. And you know who lives in Forest Lawn, everybody? Well, who, who doesn't who live? live? <laughs> Quite the opposite. Sorry. <laughs> but Larry Fine uh, re resides there. Uh, yes, his remains. So maybe it's from his tomb. <laughs> I don't think it would be. Watching over. So you think it might be from his tomb? It might fall, something like that. Underground. <laughs> yeah. Not a great uh, no. vantage point Not a great from the view. tomb. No. <laughs> nice. Well, you hear another voice in the room. It is the one and only, the great one. The great one. The great one. Rory Scoble. Wayne Gretzky. Yeah. <laughs> He's like here Wayne today. Gretzky. Kind of look like. Well, I was thinking about this. And by the way, let me welcome the Trinity, too, because Doug is here. DJ Doug Pound. I would like to say good morning. And Vic wow. the Virgin, Vic Berger is here. Hey, it's Thirsty Look Thursday, full, everybody. <laughs> I had it really <laughs> full, and there was a nice thing bubble on top, of it went away. What sip, everybody? Please sip that. Ew, I hate that mm. sound. Mm. Mm. I have a friend who slurps. Yeah, I, I, I have a friend who slurps, and just, it drives me batty. It drives me yeah, nuts. You got all kinds of those ear issues, like you hear those. Like, yeah, I'm noises. very sensitive to sound. But no, Rory Scovel is here, and what I was thinking. Welcome to the show. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Regular sip. Regular sip. Mm. Now, what is that cup? Where'd that come from? This is from the Greenville Country Club in Greenville, South Carolina. All right. Could you and, take a uh, sip real quick? I stole it. You brought it with you. You brought a plastic cup with you. What kind of operation do you think we must run over here? Well, here's the thing. This was getting thrown away. Multiple of multiple yeah. uh, uh, cups were Coffees. getting thrown away <laughs> at a event I was at, and I just collected them all. And people were like, "What are you doing with the Can I trash?" And I was like, "These are real cups. This isn't right. just use it once and throw it away." Well, yeah, that's a legit yeah, cup. It's got a little give to it. So I've just time. I've just kept it. Uh, I've got about 20 of you them. You imagine the microplastics in that. Uh, <sighs> that's what I, well, <laughs> you gotta get on board now. Yeah. It's the same with AI. You either get, you can't fight it. Just get plastics in you, I have a, work it, with robots. I have a note for, a, well, I have a, I had a, an AI fail this morning. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag AI fail. This is breaking news, this is the first. Well, sometimes I do dip in and I use, um, I use it for what I would think, be like, oh, this could actually be a nice practical purpose for this. Okay? okay, so oh, this is gonna be very mundane, but I, okay. I really wanna wa walk you through what I did and why it failed me and how it failed me. <laughs> I was copying a, a large chunk of text from a website. And when you copy and paste it, it transfers in like the form of, the, of all that text. Okay. So the hyperlink and the, it's like becomes like a table. Yeah, I know that problem. You know this problem. Know everyone, problem. everyone watching, this is a very tech savvy crowd, they all know this problem. Yep. You doing tech sounds? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was doing photocopy or something. That's what AI sounds like that we can't hear inside yeah. the machine. So anyhow, <laughs> listen, I'll, I don't want to give too much away, but I was pulling shit from IMDB, and I wanted basically a big list of names. Wow. But I didn't want it as this long list. I just wanted it kind of like uh, like written out, the name, comma, the name, you know. The, yeah. I was like, great. And I'll t let's say the movie was uh, Godfather, right? Okay. I'm not gonna say what the movie is. I don't know, it's, it's such a non-spoiler thing to be talking about. But so I wrote into Chat GPT. I said, uh, make me a list uh, of all the actors of the entire cast of uh, the of the Godfather. Yeah. Right. And they couldn't do it. 
AI I, couldn't do it. Yeah, I said, then I wrote back, I said, do you have access to IMDb? <laughs> and they said, we do not. I do not, we, I cannot access IMDb. Computer. Well, what are you doing? So maybe said, I'm better than you right off the bat. Maybe we're I, safe. Maybe yeah, we are I know. safe. <laughs> AI, this pro, AI is probably like a guy, it's just a dude being like, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Or that's their cover, like, oh, I, we can't even get into IMDb, but here are some nuclear codes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I felt really disappointed and let down by the whole thing. What do you think, Vic? Do you think, um, do you think we're safe? I think we're all right. Although, can you show I'm that Goodman fan. one? Oh, yeah. The John Goodman you thing? John Goodman Seems thing. like lazy Skynet. Tim, are you telling mm -hmm. me that you, just... are, you are DB? Because I am Doug. <laughs> I am DB. <laughs> I am DB Cooper. <laughs> Did anyone this get... is what D.B. Cooper ended up doing. <laughs> I podcast. Yeah, no. That's no. what he did. He started IMDb. Yeah. That's right. That's what he did with all that cash. <laughs> that I got... 100 grand. Or I was about to say, how far do you think that cash takes you? And I've disappeared with $50. <laughs> I got sucked into that D.B. Cooper documentary on Netflix, which I, I should have known was a scam. <laughs> these things are scams. These these six part series things. I'm I like, know. Come on, man. Yeah. You get this. Cut. Let's get the editors back into the room and work this out. Yeah. Let's see what we can lose. Let's trim the fat. Decibel Cooper. DB. Yes. Do, yes. That's correct, <laughs> Doug. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. I was thinking about you. Is uh, first of all, you got a stand up special on MA. What's MAX? MAX. <laughs> <laughs> It used to no, be Max. what we all so lovingly called HBO. We're like, HBO. Yes, of course. But now it's Max. Oh, well, so, thank yeah. God for him. And just Max. And which, Conan O'Brien is your producer? Conan O'Brien did it. And I assume, is is Max Cinemax? And it became HBO Max when they merged. And then they were like, let's just go with Max. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if people at Max are fully aware of an answer to this question. It's a little depressing to go there because I'm not really like a TLC, uh, 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 HDTV reality right, yeah. kind of guy. And God bless everybody who is. God bless them. Doug. <laughs> Hello, Max. God bless half of them. Uh, but it's depressing to go on that, like when you go to the main interface and it's a lot of that stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you're looking for your Sopranos and stuff, and it feels like it's like <laughs> all—it's like on the same level as the Sopranos. <laughs> yeah. I did notice. Just as good as viewers <laughs> also liked this. Pop my pimple p person <laughs> and the Sopranos, whatever yeah. you want. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> same amount of quality and integrity yeah. and genius involved. But no, that's exciting. You. But what I was thinking about is, we do a photo shoot. It's the. Beautiful blonde boys of comedy. It's yeah. me, it's you, it's John Early. Yeah. Doug. And Doug. I'm Dog. not there. Yeah, he is. I like this. And who else? Doug. Huh? If that's it, that's it. Is Doug. this a calendar? No, are we thinking this is a calendar? <laughs> I think it starts as a photo shoot and then we shop it. And we see, <laughs> Maybe can we Cara. finally take on firemen? Is that what this is about? Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful blonde. The, and somebody should go blonde online. And my audience is very talented with the Photoshop and everything. So I think the Tech audience savvy, can yeah. get ahead of us on this. So yeah, maybe, yeah. Maybe use AI. I don't know. But the beautiful blonde boys of comedy featuring Rory Scovel, Tim Heidecker, John Early, and more. Yeah. Because I was, I mean, have, are, you, are you from Tennessee? I'm from South Carolina. South Carolina. Yeah. Same. I mean, it's, what are we? It's here. It's <laughs> New Jersey, Connecticut. <laughs> and then the rest of the country. Yeah. But I feel like there's a little John Early in you, especially when you get into that Southern guy. Oh, yeah. It little comes bit. out. There's a Southernness that just never it's escapes It's a fun you. way to, I mean, I talk that way sometimes. I'm not even from there because it's, it's soothing. It's maybe my favorite. Yes. I think I strangely know who that guy is as a fictional person than I know even yes. myself. And yeah. I was doing it on tour last summer. When, remember the Vic, when me, Ellie, and Josh, that's the only way we oh, could yeah. communicate? Right, right. My bass player and uh, drummer, we would just, just be Everybody like, well, I just don't know what we're gonna do tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're just gonna get something to eat. <laughs> I just love it. It feels, it feels right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like Truman Capote or something. It feels like this is the character. Yeah. This is the lie. Right. This is the lie. <laughs> yeah, when I'm the truly world. myself, yeah, 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 I'm yeah, just, yeah. just so tired of it all. Yeah, I'm tired of pretending I'm not this guy. And I know I don't sound right. Next time, yeah, next but time you the road, you got to get the fan. It's all about how I feel. Yeah. Oh, oh god. What was it? What was the thing I was doing about numbers? What's my favorite number? Six. I yeah. love six. <laughs> Let me see. Seven. I love seven. <laughs> it's something so great about someone overthinking their favorite numbers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> People think I'm being like, like I'm making fun of people. But no, it feels so, and Zach does oh, it. It feels, it feels great. Zach yeah. Galifianakis does it very well. He does yeah. when he does his brother. 
I think there's something because when you meet that real person who that is their real self, right. you are just they're infinitely fascinating. Yes. Because you can't predict. You can't put them into the usual genre mm -hmm. of a personality type that you're meeting. Yeah. And you're like, this is a curveball. Yeah. And it's always entertaining. Yes. Yeah. I love Trump. And you're just like, like whoa. Oh. <laughs> I think he's really smart. <laughs> then you'd be like, I didn't know Andrew Lloyd Webber did the musical School of Rock. That of, of all the shows, <laughs> that is my favorite of all the shows. Yes. School of Rock. I didn't know that. Did you know that? Do you know the? Uh, I, my daughter asked, wanted me to find a School of. She likes the movie School of Rock. Yeah, which I do too. I think you know it's that's a classic. Um, so we were on the drive. Is that the geology the, one. Well, my I might as well. well I, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll say. <laughs> <laughs> and I go, uh, hey Siri, play the School of Rock soundtrack. <laughs> but what it is? Oh look. Why you? I'm not That's talking to you. Don't it. you know what I'm talking? Telling a story about you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not talking to you. Right I'm talking about you. By Trey songs. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Just a reminder: I cannot access IMDb. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it says about you by Trey Songs. Anyways, I said, "Hey, S word." Yeah. Play the School of Rock soundtrack, and apparently, Andrew Lloyd Webber did the did the Broadway musical for School of Rock. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So there's no rock, are doing is Jeopardy. There rock music in it? But it's that. Oh, he did. Like he that. did uh, Superstar, right? Yeah, yeah. He right. did Back to the Future. Wouldn't that kind of be the blur mind? Back <laughs> to the Future on Broadway. <laughs> like, what? Really? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, it's not, the musical's not. I, I didn't. We didn't like it. We, we were disappointed in, in the music. Oh, it is. A, it is a that is a thing. Back to the Future is a. Real, it is on Broadway. It is a, yeah, yeah, not on Broadway. It is. No, I think Come it on, is. Really? It is. Let's, let's go back to the future. That's not good. I take it back. To the future. Thank Huey Lewis. Is that, is that like a yeah. generic Huey yeah, Lewis song? Huey Lewis. <laughs> Huey Lewis is like, let me hear that again. Huey Lewis like is like, I'll get style. you music. I'll get you the music if yeah. you want. Like, it's, you don't understand, it's not that hard. I get it for you. Yeah. <laughs> Is this you even? Or maybe it is. You don't want to get dinged now. Yeah, come on now. Okay. It's back to t back in time. <laughs> Potential just, dinging. We should start the show. I love this thing in your special where you're like halfway through the thing. You're like, well, we should start the show. We got to get going. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Let me just make an announcement. Hear ye. Hear ye. Hear ye. <laughs> Hear ye. Now this weekend you. is Tim Fest. We're leaving on a plane tomorrow afternoon. The whole, I mean, we should have just chartered a jet. We've got a very good band, Office Hours Live, um, Neil Hamburger on cinema, all going up to the Aladdin Theater. Uh, there's, we posted, all, everything has been posted. We everything chartered is a carpet, a magic carpet. You can upgrade to VIP, I believe, but I don't even know how you do that anymore. But anyway, that's all happening this weekend. Thank you to everybody that sent love and support for the On Cinema Oscar special. That was a big smash hit over the weekend. And these are, the bundles are still available there, and if you get a bundle, you get a coin. I you get a collectible that. coin, oh. Rory. Oh. Solid gold coin, as far okay. as I'm concerned. This is solid gold. Don't bother biting into it, because <laughs> it's it chocolate. <laughs> Corn. Chocolate is better than gold, in my opinion. Corn. But this is the on cinema. What's this? What are we calling this, Matt? Is is gold the new lithium bundle, I believe? Yeah, so we don't know. That's a good question. Corn. But these are going to be rare, because we're, there's a limited amount. Very limited. Very limited. Yeah. You ever see gold. any Trump speech where they have that thing on the side that's selling gold and yeah. gold <laughs> coins? Yeah, Matt, you can put it in your eye if you want. Put it right in your head. Oh, yeah. So that's at highnetwork.tv slash tickets. Which means, listen, I know people are often not watching this live because they're like, it's a long program and sometimes people do want to watch the Oscars. But did you watch the Oscars? No. No. So I f it, Can I just say, I feel weird. Like, I feel weird that I didn't watch it. Frankly, because I feel like there's an here. element of just being aware of what's, what's, happening, what's happening in happening this in, the world. in this industry that we right. were or, that we are a part of. Yeah, yeah. But you feel uh, disconnected from it. I, I I feel somewhat cringe in those situations because I actually feel 
It's like at a at a professional sporting event. I cringe when someone has to sing the national anthem because I'm so nervous for, for them, them. Oh. to fuck it up. Mm-hmm. And the I didn't realize you were so that, empathetic. It. I just feel like when someone gets up there and they want to do a speech, and all I ever think is. All of these people who we go, oh, you're such a great actor. You must be able to get on stage in front of all these people and yeah. say something. And that's not the no. case. We've done that. We could well, actually I've never like, win. I've never won an award where I've had to give a speech. But I mean, but we've done front of a crowd. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, if someone's like, oh, go up and and receive <laughs> an award, I would go, oh, I wouldn't be overwhelmed by the crowd. Right. Um, <laughs> no, no one's ever going to give me a, right. an award, but I, I that's wouldn't true. be overwhelmed by the crowd. Well, and yeah. So I mean, some are, of these people have been doing it for a while. They've probably been in that situation before. But yeah. let's say you are. Let's say it's your first one of your first films and you it blew it got really big yeah up until that point maybe you've only done films yeah and you've not done theater or anything and it's for the first time in your life you're talking to th- millions of people yeah and yeah and they're basically you have one minute try to kind of be likable and if you can be funny and it's like that's so insane i know what would your speech be what would your speech be you know, i think I, it, the the only move is to downplay it yeah and be thankful, appreciative, and get the hell out of there. Yeah, I think Thank if you've you, got everybody. some names you got to throw out, I would be get so, them out. My problem is I cannot be sincere and for, for my in a million years. Let's do a dry run. It's our like, disease. It's let's our do a dry disease. Run. Yeah. All right, fine. You want to do it? You want to yeah. see? Like honestly, and our the Oscar best... goes to Tim <laughs> Heidecker. That <laughs> laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already not believing it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Must be a mistake. <laughs> yeah, I'm double checking both sides. Yeah. No, it's Tim. It is. It says Tim. <laughs> what if uh, Tucker Carlson was the host of the Oscars? Uh, the winner of Best Actor, Rory Scovel. <laughs> 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 I'm not gonna lie. I like I like Kimmel, but you yeah. put Tucker Carlson. I I then make an appointment. I go. Oh, I you're actually, watching I have that to see show. This. I have to see how this goes. So I get up, Doug. Right? Or yeah, I get up. Let me get the music going. I need applause. Like, what am, oh yeah, yeah. The, what if the place is just like, like <laughs> no one agrees on. with it? I don't yeah. agree with that as the pick. I had this nightmare because I now I play a lot of music. You know, I do have the band and everything. Yep. And when I first started doing it with the band, I was like, what if I played a song and at the end of the song, no applause? Yeah. <laughs> like nobody no. applauds. <laughs> oh, you know, that was like, four minutes. Hmm. <laughs> All right, well, let's, here's another song. All yeah. right, ladies and gentlemen, I've won the Oscar. Or, let's say I won the Oscar surprisingly for, this is a little fantasy here, Bridesmaids 2. Yeah. Now Finally, excited. Bridesmaids 2 comes out. I have a tremendous... Non-speaking role. No, this time the they Oscar write... The for the best non-speaking role. Supporting, supporting <laughs> actor. Best yeah, supporting yeah, actor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, you know, who knows what they're writing in this writer's room. Yeah. Maybe this Mike spinoff Kirk. is more just you and my... Uh, I wouldn't call it a spinoff. On a honeymoon. I'd call it a sequel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's an right. official sequel. <laughs> They haven't developed like the bridesmaids universe where there's been. This, this is a, this is the start of it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, Tim Heidecker as well. I can't do the intro either. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> please welcome the winner of the Oscar, <laughs> Tim Heidecker. Oh my God! Thank you guys so much. Um, listen, I, I want to thank Paul Feig and Kristen Wiig and Maya Rudolph, Judd Apatow, mm-hmm. everybody at Universal Pictures. Um, my incredible team and uh, my family, Marilyn, Amelia, and Charlie, the reason I do this is for you guys because I love you all. And also to my Office Hours family and my fans out there, and my wonderful audience, the Office Hours crew, patreon.com slash Office Hours Live. Patreon. And join the High Network. It's $5 a month. Thank you all. And look, Jack Nicholson, holy shit! <laughs> I do an impression of you as a joke. That's a bad. Im- it's a bad impression, but that's the jo- that's the joke. <laughs> that would be awesome. Gotta play him. But here's the thing. Legitimately, I know in this context, a joke of pimping a Patreon. Yeah. But in that space, <laughs> that I have to believe, if that doesn't crush then I truly don't have anything in common with the majority of that crowd. I know. Like, he's pimping a Patreon? He just won the Oscar. Yeah. He's going to be fine. That's really funny. <laughs> but yet he's like, the Patreon is only $5 a month. Here's yeah. what you get t-shirts. Yeah. We do a mug. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> it, and, and the audience at home would be like, this guy's like me. They, like, I like this <laughs> guy. Yeah, what yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's grinding. It is also a prime 
opportunity. Oh, can you imagine the subs? Thing. The subs after that? It's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at pa- a he, he had a weird. He did best picture, right? I heard he had like. I heard a, he just came out and said, "All right, here we go. It's Oppenheimer." <laughs> did it, is that what Ooh. happened? Yeah. He didn't even right? say he, the nominees are. He just. <laughs> That's but but he was told to do that by the producer. That was the plan. It oh. wasn't him mm. going off script. That's oh, what I, I see. Read. Who said that, Nicholson? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, that Al sounds Pacino. like Gino. Oh, Pacino. Yeah. How does he say Oppenheimer? Can we get an audio this. of him saying Oppenheimer? <laughs> can we <laughs> frame, can we center him on? Can there we offset? Is. Can we tilt? I, I, can we push him over? I think it's kind of good because he's like kind of creepily spying on you. Oh, I'm a giant. <laughs> looks like I'm doing best picture. <laughs> oh. Oh. How you doing there, Vic? <laughs> Ninety-six Oscars. What is that? How old am I? <laughs> oh, how old I am? Yeah, I'm gonna wear a fucking goatee for the Oscars. Eh? <laughs> we should, uh, we should get Weird Al to call it. Weird Al Yankovic. We have a, I mean, Weird Al um, Pacino to call it. <laughs> Look, Matt, we haven't taken a one goddamn call today, and I don't really care. But let, we should probably do that, huh? Yeah, let's let Melissa pick her bone. We got a bone. Her name picker. is Melissa Pickerbone. Now I'm Melissa, getting excited. Hello, Melissa <laughs> Pickerbone. <laughs> nah, it's Melissa Saputo. Oh. Oh, this fucking I'm guy. Calling, what are you going to look? Yeah, I know. Oh, by the okay, way, I see I have, you. Have I have some beef. You got Ooh, some beef. All right, have, pause your beef for one second. I just want to say up next, I got beef. I got my own beef with our friend Chase because Chase, if you recall, I'll give you a little backstory yeah, here. Yeah, Chase begged us to be put on the guest list for the Jenny Lewis show at the Ryman in Tennessee, in beef. Nashville, Tennessee. I said, Uh-oh. Chase, you son of a bitch. You better be polite, and you better not ask for anything beyond getting a ticket to the show. Cut to last this morning, I see a picture of Chase with Jenny Lewis for the photo op. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to get to the bottom of that with Chase, but what is your beef, ma'am? Okay. My beef is, as you know, On Cinema is a long fucking series. It's hard to get through when you're... <laughs> Hard. Brand spanking new. All right. And I, I've committed to doing that because I am just obsessed with it and in an unhealthy way. But I can't have my normal friends doing that. So I've been creating a presentation. Oh, I love <laughs> keynotes. Is that? Oh, it's like Google exactly. Slides. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> um. No, I'm not. That's, pr- that's kind of creepy PowerPoint. because she's got two computers. Obviously, we, we're oh. we're figuring that out, right? <laughs> uh. It, well, it's I'm using my phone. It could be but. a phone. Yeah, it's true. For Zoom. Yeah. Well, these days, phones so are I've, computers, in my opinion. I've been right? creating. That's, that's, powerful. that's your opinion. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so go ahead. I've been creating a timeline. And, of course, it's important to have the Oscar specials, right? Yeah. However, this PowerPoint is over 100 slides long. I can't have three-hour specials in my PowerPoint. So I've been chronologically... Chron- Chronologically going through and making compilations of the most key moments, yeah. the best moments, uploading them to YouTube. Well, don't do that. And they've all... Yeah, yeah, but <laughs> stop. I'll stop you right there. You, you're not allowed to do right. that, okay? You can't just take stuff and and put it up for everybody. That's uh, okay. Hey, the, the, hey, the whole idea... Listen up. Listen up. Listen up. I saw this Until video, by the way. She took. She made a half-hour video... From the special the okay. other night. Yeah. I don't I I don't want to hear it. I will gladly upload them to the high network if I could do that. I want you scared. Well, this okay. is, this is rough. Rough. rogue <laughs> editing. I know. It, uh, listen, stay <laughs> like like all due respect. Thank God you're a, thank God that you love the show. We care about the show. We love it. But the way we make it work. <laughs> oh man, she's here we go. gloves on. Oh my god. Man, people don't get it. The gloves people are on. They're not on. The gloves are on. <laughs> this They're I on get it, Tim. I get it. You want the subscriptions? You know, I don't, no, I, I don't, I don't want like, time out. I don't want the subscriptions. <laughs> it's the only way it works. Yeah. It's the only way it works because why okay. would you sign up if you're getting it for free? Why would you pay for no, something that enough. you could get fair for enough. free? Yep. So it's a basic tenant of human nature. Yeah. Right? Can I'm gonna you know what? I like I love Rory Scovel's special. I'm gonna upload it on my YouTube channel. You know. That actually okay, could be good for me. Can we have to upload them? <laughs> huh? Can we have somewhere to upload them then? But wait, I'm, I'm confused. I'm com- now I'm confused because what you're saying is that you've cut. We have a, a essentially a two hour and fifty minute show, which went up yes. because we cut out the breaks and that uploaded almost instantly. Okay, 
It uploaded uh. the next morning. <laughs> so uh -huh. what you want to do is is put that down, put, cut that down to a half hour. When when I would say to you is. There's nothing I would really want to cut out of that. It's a piece of art. It is. It's like yeah. it's like chipping away at the bottom third of the Mona Lisa. Yeah. This is a this is a now, Blade Runner situation. Now, here. are there going to be clips from the show that are going to come on the High Network? Absolutely. We're probably going to clip out our favorite. Yeah, moments Carson made the... sure to tell me that. I got beef with Carson. All Lieutenant right. Carson well, is actually <laughs> replying. Listen, <laughs> I'm. I love You're your spirit. I love part. your. I love your enthusiasm. <laughs> but please respect copyright law. And please I respect do, the Constitution. I do. Listen, I she do. Just will, I saw it because I was curious. Adult Swim didn't take down a single one. High network copyright strike. Two strikes. I can get my channel taken down if well, I get but, one so more So there you go. Out. It's called. Oh, that's right. It's called uh, consequences, ma'am. It is. You yeah. you have to be respectful of our <laughs> our intellectual property. It's listen. I'm a loo I'm a loose lefty. You know. This put food but, on the table. Strike. Oh, you know. I and mean, I, that's totally fine. I could tell you the I cost. I just need something for my presentation. Okay. And I want people to be able to easily absorb the content. I know it's a piece of art. I've watched every minute of it. Believe me. All right. Can we I make it? That. Can we make the show about Rory Scovel and not you? Thank and you. <laughs> I've also made a presentation. <laughs> yes. I've also taken copyrighted footage. Listen, we've ha we have we have we have a very enthusiastic fan base that likes to take stuff from the show and put it up online with like making great compilations. Mm -hmm. and stuff. I I don't have a real big problem with that. But at the half when you put in a half hour of the best moments of the show, that's almost a half of the show oh. itself. So that cro there, there, were you the one who took it down? It seems like you knew the timestamp. Oh. I, I know. Yes, I I saw it on YouTube and I sent it to our guy. I said, "Hey, can you? This can't be up on YouTube. The special just aired two days ago." Yeah. Do you know how long if, it must have taken her to make it, though. I mean, she's. She are you to... defending her now? Oh no, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, sir. Thank you. With, with peace and love, you're in trouble. I'll, I'll take it down. Peace and love. Peace and love. Right, peace I'll, and take love. Him, I'll take I'll take it all down. But if you want to talk, a compromise. But you're listen. too stubborn to have a compromise. So listen, if you want to be part of the community, the compromise that, of Tim Heidecker. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to, if you want to be, if you want to engage online with the show in a respectful way that helps grow the audience and explain the show and all that stuff. Let's talk offline, okay? Not me personally, but our team will be. There in you touch. go. That's an olive branch of, of sorts. I've, thank okay, you very much. Sure. We're end of conversation, but peace and love, and we're gonna make sure you don't peace lose your love. precious YouTube channel. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now, how would you rate that call? Do you get that a lot? Do you get? <laughs> <laughs> and ma'am, after what if I did this? Like, ma'am, uh, ma uh, at the at the conclusion of our call, if you could rate uh, your <laughs> rate your rate this experience from one to five. <laughs> That was a, there's, yeah, yeah, double, uh, oh, double thumbs, double now, people thumbs. people get all uptight about this and say, why were you so mean? And I'm like, look at her, she's having a blast. Yeah. How dare you? Yeah, she loves it. Mm. Uh, I thought that was a great <laughs> call. That was a great, I mean, I have, I, what do I? Roy's, this, and Roy said, he's like, what is on cinema? This is my first time on the show. <laughs> this is my first time experiencing a last, call. Last I have nothing time? to gauge it on. Next this question. is it. This is all I've got. Yeah. So I got to say. Are we dealing the first time last time for you? Or this, you think this, that was my first and last call that I'll ever take on this <laughs> show. <laughs> all right. Oh, Next man. Caller. Next question. By the way. Last week, oh, you want to talk to this fucking Chase? I, 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 this is you like want to do that. You want to you want city a of the Chase day, city of the day palate cleanser? I think we should let Chase do for a little bit. Let Chase. <laughs> he's, hanging around. he's he's like in the uh, vice principal's waiting room, waiting for me to finish up my work. <laughs> think we about have, what we you've have done. a Rory head waiting <laughs> about in the what wings as well. Oh, let's take the, take a Rory talk to head. a Rory head. Oh, this is already my favorite call. Yeah. What is this? His daughter. Cool. <laughs> hey. hey. Hey, buddy. Hey. Does that Are look like all? a typical Rory head? Yeah. <laughs> I do comedy, and y'all are my idols. I, I uh, This is great. Oh, love it. I love every element so far. And I started uh, doing stand-up in Greenville, South Carolina. So oh, Come on. Yeah, I Greenville Country Hill. Club, folks. There it is. <laughs> I saw you, Rory, in Greenville, the last stop of your tour, and you fucking crushed. You were amazing. 
Oh, oh, just me? <laughs> <laughs> I was having a thought because I look at that Greenville Country Club, 1895. So they're about two, 20 years after that old Civil War. <laughs> yeah. and we're like, I think we could do, I think we're clear to do a country club now. You can imagine the vibe. You can imagine what the vibe was like. <laughs> I think we're clear to do a country club. <laughs> it's still like shells, yeah. it like, there's still like big, like holes I in I think the... we're okay to create an institution of oh, yeah. separation once again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this time we're calling it a country club. Yeah, it's fine, it's a club, it's fun. Yeah. We have clearance, Clarence. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, Do you I live first, in Greenville? I used to live in Greenville. I live in Rock Hill right now. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, I had a friend, you know, everyone in Greenville reveres you that does comedy. Really? And, Local ledge. Uh, yes, absolutely. And um, my first experience when people would talk about you, I went on YouTube and you were on Conan so many times and Too all those times. sets. So good. It's a little much. I, I went on and actually, they actually made me stop showing up. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, it's not the kind of thing where you show up. I, well, that's what I would do. <laughs> and I would go, is there any room tonight? Yeah, you just show up and they let you on? I thought it was a sign up, you, like, mind all if I comedy do, you mind if I do a quick five? Can I do five? I got a new thing? Then, yeah, all right. <laughs> all right. Conan felt bad for this me. This is not how we do things. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, to ask out or just showing up and bumping people. I also like your kind of dismissiveness of com of comedy specials in the th in the special. Where you're like, I mean, this is. I'm, I'm looking at my notes. This We're is not. <laughs> the, the, whatever reverence this people had for this. We're all going to be doing them. We yeah. all can do Everyone one. Everyone gets a special. Yeah. So, do you have a question, my friend? Yes, I do. I was wondering uh, what it was like. Um, you know, like having a professional relationship with Conan, having him produce your special. I loved Conan. Um, and yeah, I was just curious about that relationship a little bit. Yeah, um, I, it's not great. It's we're on the outs right now. <laughs> uh, I haven't heard from him. Uh, I don't know if he knows he produced my special. Mm -mm. Well, um, he just sells he just that left name. His name on it. Dude, it was sells, I just got I, and honestly, he can license that name like Trump Hotel. Well, like. here's the thing. Also, I just used his name. Oh, <laughs> so I yeah. literally mean he doesn't know he's a part of this. That's I how you really said, get Conan into like. A, no one's gonna see it anyway. How are I they even like, gonna know? Who's gonna notice? No one cares about <laughs> opening credits. Who's reading those? You yeah. know what I mean? You're coming you're back in. Slip in like three minutes of uh, The Godfather yeah. into the special. We already hit play. You're like, ah, oh, let me get my drink. I'm coming. You, so you miss yeah. all that at the top. No, let's um, be real. Come all on. All right, man. let's be real people. Uh, he, he, I got to do his late night show and he was super nice and let me come back to do the show. And then he let me do some shows on the road with him. And he's just been supportive. And I will say, when you don't really know what you're doing and you just go up and tell jokes and you do comedy, you know, it does take a little bit of support from people who are more established. To yeah. Go, Let me help pass your name around. Let me help put you in the spotlight or on camera to see, you know, if you can do it. And so Conan was early on one of those people for for me. So I don't think a he big likes boost me very for me. Much. Does he not? I don't. I I don't know if he does. Have you had like many me. interactions? We did a show once. Okay. Uh, with Eric and I came out and did this very silly bit about coming back from Sundance and we were all in our ski gear still and we're sunburned and everything, wind burn. And then I did this move that I think was a mistake, but I was like, I'm sorry to do this, but I have to use the bathroom. And I got up and left, <laughs> which I'd never really seen on TV before. I really yeah. like that. Yeah, but I've never seen that. I don't know if it really worked, you know? But, but yeah. then I don't know, I feel, my, I mean, I, I, haven't, I don't know that he doesn't like me. I've, I know Andy Richter pretty well, He we get along very well. But uh, I've never had like uh, I've met him a couple times through other people. Yeah, um, I, and I'm sort of just like you would love what I do, and we would have like so many cross uh, interests with the Beatles and music, yeah, and history, 100%. like so many things that I think we would have in common. But yeah, he's you know he I've, he's noticeably absent from. From yeah. being interested in me, we got to get which I would get be like on his pod. Well, it's not on me to read. Like you would ha like, but if that's that's fine. I'm not yeah. obviously. I'm not angry about it. You talk all the time about it. You love Shark Tank too. It does seem like you. Yeah, so I mean, trying to make you. It does seem like you are harboring something. <laughs> no, I, I know. I'm, I'm playing that up for. I'm playing that. No, I'm just on that show. Like like he has like you know how many people a week or a month? Right. You know, like, and and I've got. I'm not afraid. Probably no one's ever reached out. He's afraid of him like coming out. Maybe, said, maybe there's like a... you don't know what the hell is the... I actually think you'd be a great guest on his podcast. I'm a, Conan I'm a needs great a guest on Because then you would really get to know I'm each other. I'm a great other. guest on podcasts. Exactly. I've done them all. I know. I've seen every appearance you've done. <laughs> In fact, I'll, I'll break news for you if you want. I got a uh, text from Howie, uh, Howie Mandel yesterday. Oh, my God. Seeing if I could do his podcast today. 
There you go. And do I? What do I say? I say, no, I'm doing my podcast. Sorry, Fuck pal. Off. Sorry, pal. <laughs> he should come in here. Yeah. yeah. We Sorry, him. pal. Oh yeah, we should get him in here. He doesn't leave his compound. But uh, anyways, we had a nice little back and forth. So, am I am I a good podcast guest? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the best. <laughs> in fact, I was ranked number. I don't know. It was like seven or eight. Of all time, yeah, yeah, podcast guests. Which year did that come out? Uh, it was last year. Okay, and uh, Jordan Peterson was number one. So COVID, <laughs> COVID was really your time to shine. That's when you really hit. I did a lot of, of the campaign Zoom, trail. Yeah, I called into a lot of small podcasts. Yeah, yeah. smaller. Po- Actually, I think it was based on volume. Yeah, quantity. Similar okay, acceptance buddy. speech when you got that seventh, <laughs> seventh or eighth. There Best really wasn't any kind more. of formal no. words. It was no just a list. It's a listicle. No aggressive event. humor. What are we going to do without chips? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are we going to do without men? Well, I wanted what to show this. Uh, I wanted chips? to What the hell show... are we going to do without What men? are we going to do without chips? <laughs> men, they have an important role to play. Chips. <laughs> Unbelievably chips. hardworking. Chips. Solidly laboring, working class men. What the hell are we going to do without men? <laughs> chips. <laughs> Thank you. It's been a while. Men, up your, thank you, Jordan. Up yours, woke moralists. What's up with him lately, anyway? Uh, We're following his his. What ins is and he outs. up to? I forget what he's up to these days. I don't just. Oh, he's just freaking out on. Uh, he got mad Twitter because uh, I it, guess uh, the Canadian Board of Psychology <laughs> yeah. said that you, he has to take uh, like a media training class. Like a social no, media class. They they uh, pulled his license. His well, they were going to if he didn't take this class. Yeah. But you know what? It's like when you speed or something, you have to take a little class. Oh yeah. Okay. What did because he he's online. Because he's out. online all the time, going like, "Kill yourself." So he crossed the <laughs> he's line. Like t- he crossed that. the line. Yeah. Yeah. He's like saying, anybody that is trying to tell me what to do can go die. I gotta <laughs> say, I'm like, wait, you're a psychologist. <laughs> this is a classic case of don't judge a book by its cover because classic when you example. see when you do see pictures of him, mm-hmm. you think you're about to hear about the finest red wine you <laughs> never <laughs> you never knew about. And then it's not that at all. Right. Sol- Sol- <laughs> like right there, you're like, this guy Sol- drives a Ferrari one hundred percent. Right. He looks like that most interesting man in the world guy. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, Dos yeah, yeah, Dos Equis. We should go side by side. So then he made it whole this whole like free speech thing. I should be able to say whatever the goddamn hell I want to say. That's what, I like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, for Christ's sake, it's bloody outrageous what they're trying to. It's like, well, but you have to, you have to like, uh, you have to be at a higher standard than all these goons who are on Twitter. Yeah, like, yeah. If you're going to be a doctor, right? Then there, you can't just say whatever. Yeah. So and that probably would have been a thing where they're like, you got to take this fucking class. It's just, it's online. It's three hours. You have to read some shit and say, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you're fine. But we have to do it. He's like, fuck you. See, look, yeah. I'm right. Look at that. Yeah. Like, you would believe that's the same guy. <laughs> Stay thirsty. Yeah, but you should friend. see pictures of him where he's all, he's all oh, strung out God, on beef. Yeah, yeah. Stay thirsty, <laughs> oh, my friend. Like, days. that's a good picture. Find him, find him where he's all messed yeah, out yeah, on beef. Or crying. Just like oh, Jordan Peterson. Oh, damn it. I can't. Try. I, where do I've you had all my blood taken Once out. Once you've established, this is my this is my broad strokes uh-huh. core feelings about society. It does seem like well, there isn't steps to take to go. Oh, he's 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 heightening the game. Right. Well, it's like you are you you yeah, started. That's, he at is going that's the problem. He no, started with like twelve rules to yeah, to be exactly. able, live life, and you're like, but well, he's, then he's starting like a religion. He's moving he's, his. his Goal in life is to start a church. He's I think that's that your times. only. That's Look, the only place. Now really you're not getting go. wine from that oh, guy. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. no! You might be getting something else from that guy. That's well. That's this is when you didn't hire a stylist or hair makeup. <laughs> 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 Although I still like that hair, little Christopher Reeve curl there. That that you know what that is? That's um. I thought the Zoom was 5 p.m. <laughs> Think again, sunshine. <laughs> you like that? Five. It's per- that's a perfect description of them. I'm sorry, I thought the I thought the Zoom meeting was at 5 p.m. Give me a minute here. Here's a question based on based on those three pictures. There, have we seen RFK Jr. and him in the same room oh, really? at the same time? Oh, Aren't you getting a little bit of that? I see a little. Uh-huh. I see a little. That one on the right, for sure. Listen, I got to do City of the Day because we have sponsors to to take care of. I don't think anyone's confusing those guys. I want to thank that caller. That was wonderful. I like Doug. You're so defensive of your. I like it when uh, people Dos like. Equis, uh, thing that you no, can't I'm believe saying... that he's bringing up RFK. He's like, well, he doesn't look like he looks like what I said, the Dos Equis guy, not what you said. I, I'm just saying. Sorry, 
Well, what's the what am I doing back here? I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> all right, listen. We all know that City of the Day is sponsored by John's Cuter Felon Camp. <laughs> Do you noticed? have a husband or friend in prison and you're worried about what they'll look like when they get out of the joint? Maybe they'll be covered in bad tattoos, be overweight, or have a sunken dead expression. Well, check it out. Why not have them transferred to John's Cuter Felon Camp, the only prison proudly run by John Cougar Melon Camp. Located, oh, so I should say John Cuter, Cuter. Okay. John's Cuter Me Felon Camp. Thank you. Felon Camp. The only prison proudly run by John Cougar Melon Camp. Located in a small town in the heart of Indiana, John's Cuter Felon Camp will keep your inmate looking cute. John will personally groom and give fashion advice to your man in all his American style. And forget cells, the, of course, the convicts will do their time in little pink houses. John will even suck on a chili dog with your jailbird. <laughs> Beware, if your convict steps out of line, John will personally beat his ass with his acoustic guitar, but it will hurt so good. Your felon's <laughs> face won't be touched, though, because John guarantees that all of his prisoners stay cute. Good, uh, good news. If your felon is on death row, John is happy to carry out the task of ending his sentence by blowing him up with a cherry bomb. Ask, warden, ask your warden if John's cuter felon camp is right for you. John is waiting. Now here's a song that you might like. Of course. Little Jenny, that little Jenny, you will look really cute when you go to his camp. John's cuter felon camp from John Cougar Mellon camp. And you can suck on Chilla Dow at John's cuter felon camp. John's cuter felon camp by John Cougar Mellon oh, camp. Oh yeah! Living it gone. Thank you. Very yeah. cool. All right, what's the city of the day? Mm. What is it? What the hell is it? Is Winston Salem, North Carolina? Oh, oh man, we're getting all the Southern boys to come down here. Oh, right. this is come out. Are you making some tobacco up there for me? Down there? Uh, I try to cut it out of my life as much as possible, but it's hard to avoid. <laughs> mm. Fucking everywhere. It's a changed region. Yeah. Yeah, I'm actually in the the city where R.J. Reynolds started Camel and like Marlboro and like all that shit. So yeah, it's he Camel did Reynolds city. rap after that, didn't he? That's right. Huh? That's right. He straightened <laughs> out. He straightened out. Yep. Hey, RJ, what you working on now? <laughs> Food <laughs> preservation. <laughs> well, weren't you doing cigarettes? You were doing cigarettes, weren't you? I was doing cigarettes, yeah. but I moved over to food preservation. Mm. Have you heard oh, about right. this aluminum foil? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's like metal, but it's real metal, thin. It's metal, but then it's paper, mm. and then it's useless. And all I know <laughs> is don't bite it. That's okay. all I know. <laughs> Are you not going to put that in my microwave? <laughs> yeah, do, also, don't put it in a microwave. All right. It will it will f Man, up your day. I thought you were uh, I thought you were all set with them cigarettes. You've done good work on them. Yeah. I thought you'd be retired. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Check out that building. That's yeah, that's very phallic. phallic. Oh, what's in there? Is that a big old cigar? It's a big. Uh, it's supposed to be a rosebud. The uh, original architect tried to make a rosebud, but it just looks like a big white penis. I think yeah. they know that going in. Well, they just say rosebud, and then they go, <laughs> "It's actually a dick." Right. They they also, yeah, that's uh, also dick. he was an architect for buildings in Charlotte that looked like beautiful, but then they stuck with Winston Salem. They just put this like penis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it looks Winston like you're some Salem. kind of architect with that pencil. What are you doing? Drafting some new house? Uh, I'm, I'm just I'm doodling. I'm oh, doing okay. some art. Uh, I was in my studio over there, but I came out here to. Uh, it's a beautiful day right now. Uh, <laughs> Looks like that's where you're coming from. That he's on the top of that, <laughs> where the 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 hole of the head. <laughs> Is Winston Salem named after the cigarettes? <sighs> no, I think uh, or vice yeah. versa. I think vice versa. Tim, what do you smoke? Yeah, they merge together. <laughs> the Which ones do you Salem's? Like? You do the Winston 100s. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I start the first half of my day with Winston's and the yeah. day with Salem's. I okay. like I like a Salem after dinner because that mint, sort of menthol <laughs> flavor. It's a but dessert cigarette. Every, a dessert cig. <laughs> yeah. My, yeah. my every day, like sort of as I'm working through it, that's Winston. Yeah. They put a little bit of chocolate on the filter. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> it's like an after I do a camel in the hump. I like this natural setting you're in. Actually, kind of jealous of that day you're getting to have there. It's probably Dude, very it's, peaceful. It's By the way, I was in a. By the way, this which reminds oh, me, we're gonna get to PDB. Smoke um, weed. By the way, uh, I was in a Zoom meeting with some people the other day, yesterday, and uh, there was the guy, one of the guys in the meeting, inside, indoors, smoking a cig. 
Wow. And I was like, that's kind of cool. That's oh, a wait. power move yeah. right there. <laughs> yeah, he's just, yeah. He's yeah. obviously in his own space. Was he an yeah. ad man? No, it was an editor of some kind. But um, by the way, by the way, oh, is that it? By the way, I pulled this. So I'm obsessed way, with it. Can we show this clip? By the way, uh, is that the tobacco farms right there? By the way. Well, thank you for the city of the day, yes. my friend. Do you have anything, uh, any questions or comments uh, you'd like to add to the conversation? Or are you good? Uh, not really. Okay, just want to say enough. I love pen pals. Love pen pals. Love Rory. Um, yeah. And I'm on the Zoom just to talk to you. <laughs> anything just else? To say hi. I love okay. it. God, that feels good. Anybody there? Apparently, uh, Rory's got a group text with a bunch of people from the South I, uh, this morning. He's going like, can you please call into the I show? Said, guys. <laughs> you guys. <gassed> me up. <laughs> the representation. Here's the link. Yeah. Regulators, <laughs> mount up. <laughs> <laughs> Time to represent. Um, oh, yeah. So this PDB show that I'm obsessed with, it's, these, it's another one of these lunatic right-wing uh, podcasts that they talk about. Look at this show. Like, right away. Are you in or are you it out? It almost seems like... It's just so funny. You can't even like spoof this anymore. Well, I did. These I are all the decisions you would make. Are <laughs> like there. Well, and on cinema this season, we basically ripped off their whole set. But um, they were upset about the Oscars. Oh. Yeah. Let's see what they had to say. They don't I, like I, Oppenheimer, I, huh? By the way. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> so the thing I love about this, I love so many things, but these guys say, by the way, at, at the beginning of every sentence. By the way. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> so, by the way, like Jimmy Kimmel, this guy is a liberal, and he blah blah. By the way, I don't. I don't know, no, no. By the way, I. That's it's way. just a way to move on without like acknowledging that someone else talked. You yeah. just don't have. They're, they're yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You don't have to respond. You don't have to respond. Yeah. Well, by the way. But they so got really mad at Jimmy tweet. Kimmel because he's winning his first. Well, you'll see. Right, Oscar. So Jimmy Kimmel starts to joke, trying to be funny. And he says the following, just listen to this, and I just want you to tell me, if you maybe I'm wrong, maybe my humor sucks. I didn't find anything funny about what the man said on Where's how he changed his effect? life on the <laughs> night he's about to win his first Oscar, and here's what Kimmel says, go ahead. And congratulations Some Cecilia of these guys are all triggered. Robert Downey Jr. These are all snowflakes about comedy now. By the way. <laughs> this is the highest point of Robert Downey Jr.'s long and illustrious by the way, look at what, career. By the way, look what we're doing. We're well, watching the them watch the Oscars. Yeah. Um, but sorry, I, I talked well, over the joke. Over I'm sorry, funny. back I it heard up. It. Back I it know up. it. I heard it. He basically is like, this is the high point of your career. Well, no, maybe the not the high, high points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he's famously uh, used to be career. a drug abuser. That's right. One of the highest points. But By the way. By the way. Scumbag. Maybe it's funny. Look at he goes scumbag. Can no, I ask? Because I've always wondered, and people do this, and I feel like at my age I should probably know this by now. But when someone does something and someone does touch their nose, what does that actually mean? Like you're on the I nose. I should have like, asked this by now. I think now. It, I think what it is is like that's on. You're it's, on the nose. You're on. You're too on the nose. And are you trying to call them off and be like, hey, I know you're joking. This is me saying mm -hmm. funny, but let's move on. Is that what that means? I don't know. I'm not going to bullshit you. Yes, I don't. We'd have to get Robert like on the show. Like if someone were roasting me or saying something to me, I don't even know that my first thought would be to like, hey, touch your nose. Like I wouldn't even, Unless I don't he's know. talking, literally talking about cocaine. Well, that's, like, yeah. I, I, yeah. Okay, so so here's my two cents. Yeah. I mean, it's by kind the of way, fairy, by the I, way. I, I, I just looked it up. It could be used as a way of Thank signaling you, knowledge that someone is clever or a threat. Like, by the way. Like I, I hear you. Like, I know what you're saying. Yeah, I'm so yeah, proud. I yeah, pulled yeah. that drop. I'm on, the, I'm I'm on to, to you a little bit. No, why not the brain? By the way, no, oh, interesting. I get it. But okay, so so let's assume. Um, for me, that doesn't strike me as sort of out of bounds. Yeah. I don't know. But go yeah. ahead. He's, yeah. he's, yeah. he's acting, meaning he can't stand. Oh, he knows any of the jokes that are being said. Well, what, what are your thoughts when he sees something I, like first that? Of, first of all, this guy Vinny, you'll I, love I don't know who. <laughs> Label Jimmy Kimmel a comedian. Wikipedia has him in there as a comedian. He is not a comedian. Mm. He's a hack leftist propagandist that just, by the way, is oh, there, oh, there it is! There it is! Are, are these guys twin brothers or something? They look exactly the same Ooh, and they sound. PDB and this guy and Vinny? About yeah. No, they all funny. Like related. What's his name? And J? PDB and J? <laughs> Stop it. I like that Anything. hairline. On the man show, they I like that just disgusting. There's a little bit of jealousy. I want that. All right, hairline. so now they go into the whole thing of like Jimmy Kimmel used to be a racist because he did blackface on a sh sketch show 20 right, years yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Such a tired. Yeah, but like so 
Did, By the way, well, listen, listen to what he says here. Him and Adam Carolla discussing against women. And remember, the left is remember. a professional at this. They could be racist. They could they could fat shame. Did you see the video, Rob, I just sent you? Of By the way, this is <laughs> from his, his past. Jimmy Kimmel has been done blackface. He's, he's been racist. He's fat shamed. He's disrespected women. Nothing happens to him because he's a Democrat. You get a, you get a golden. I love ticket. this. You know what? They're supposed to, to like Rob, this. By, by the way, if they <laughs> by the way if they do <laughs> it, they're like, hey, freedom of speech. Right, yeah, right. But yeah, right. Right. Level, there, there's also no there's no room for growth or learning or change. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. you do something 30 years ago, 20 years ago. They do this with Howard Stern all the time, which you know. Howard Stern was horrible yeah, yeah, yeah. in the 80s and, and 90s. Like, horrible, especially, like, but even also, at the time, it was like, dude. Did they, it like, was too far then, yeah. It was even too far then. Yeah. And whatever, it was what it was. But now people are like, and he's changed. He yeah. it talks about his journey of of therapy and, and, and whatever. And, yeah. No one's perfect. Uh, but what are you supposed to do? I, know. I, I made a mistake like, 20 years ago. Like, and then this, that's it? That's it. <laughs> Tim, by the but, way, these people that... Yeah, by ahead. the way, I, but, oh, didn't Robert this, Downey Jr. do blackface in that movie? He did. Oh. In Tropic Thunder. And does oh, yeah. he, by the way, also doesn't he say that he likes Oscar. Jimmy Fallon better? No, that come, that's like, Vinny yeah. coming up. And, oh, Jimmy that, Fallon right? would. But Fallon did it. Fallon yeah, did yeah. blackface out the wazoo. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Keep going. That's, with that's what I mean. It's like just to try to have something. Jimmy <laughs> Kimmel on Comedy Central. Look at look at look at how how is this not cancelable? Cancelable. Blackface. Or how is this not cancelable? <laughs> when is this from? Yeah, it's from 20 years ago. Yeah, probably nine. How is this not cancelable? This might be more than 20. Why didn't they cancel this? These guys love this kind of humor, though, right? They would probably. I get, love who knows what they like? They like making money. That's about all they. They like like. First of all, they watch UFC. They watch people beat the shit out of each other. And then they buy like you know they 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 like uh, cars and but shit. I, but but also like the the issue like these guys when they like get upset about these things, it's like you know there are people on the left that are also sitting here going, yeah, I think Jimmy went too far with it. Like they're yeah, also no, being critical. No one's of defensive. Right. Things. They're, they're not immediately defensive because they know that he more than likely votes the way they do. Oh yeah, yeah. But yet in this, it's always just like ah, well we know he's on the other There's team, no so let's just be mad because he's oh, different. It's, it's insane. <laughs> Keep going here. By the way, seen that. By the way, he did. <laughs> right away, right away. The other person did some shit He's like that. Damn. I think the problem is he, he, this guy. He is is a mouthpiece for the left. Just mouthpiece. He's di the problem is. He, by the way, this guy, this poor guy, Vinny, is dim. <laughs> like he's 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 dim witted. It's making he me seem like it. I don't dress up enough when I do my show. I'm like, ah, this guy's going this distance. He's, this is like him at first communion. Yeah. Like, oh, and he's the hired comedian too. Well, the, that's the thing the is, guess what? Guess what? This guy was a is a failed actor and comedian. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. So like, he's there. This is like they have this like a, what do you call it? Like a side channel pyramid scheme going for realist or for life oh. insurance. That's well, what this whole thing is. That's, oh, how, that's how he yeah. got started. PVD. But this guy's oh. literally a failed yeah. comedian and actor yeah. who's just like their uh, hothead on the show. It is. I always forget fired up and 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 kind mm -hmm. of it makes me laugh when people are like, "This guy is not a comedian," and it's like. Do you understand subjectivity? Yes, no, that they don't. you can't sit and go. Uh, let me tell you who a comedian is, yeah. and you, I guarantee you, you don't name one name that I go. Oh yeah, no, I like them. Now They're I would great. argue there's a point only that Jimmy Kim, is Jimmy Kimmel a comedian? I don't know. He's a talk show host for first, first, first and foremost. And foremost yeah. He's not going out and doing like like he's not. I don't think he goes out and does. Like I don't think he does either. Stand up necessarily. Yeah, by the he way, is, by yeah. the way, <laughs> let's just be clear about that. All right, so then I have one of those lockers, by the way. I should have said that one, <laughs> and I left my key in it, and it's right there. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's their vault. They literally shoot the show in some kind of fucking. Are they bank in like vault. a YMCA? Or All right, keep going. Everybody knows about PDB. <laughs> they don't know this. Pushers. So let's let's play. Everywhere. Let's let's be him. Let's yeah. be him. Yeah. He's gonna say, "Well, that's comedy, though." I got you guys talking about it. That's comedy, right? I won. PDB. You guys are, you guys talking, are talking about, about it. it. I won. So the, the, the part where this is... I mean, you're just trying to fill three hours at an joke, award show. No you can't get upset at anybody calling your ass out. You just have to accept it. Why? Because when people bring up Karl Malone and Oprah Winfrey, I'm sure he's like, well, that was 20 years ago. That was 30 years ago. Why are you bringing something up like that? Well, RDJ changes life, man. And, and people... Love him. RDJ is some Robert actors Jr., and some people in life yeah. you root <laughs> no for. Literally, that. there's certain people you just naturally <laughs> root for. It's in sports, it's in politics, it's in Hollywood.
This guy is the king of, of, of you just drawing the shit out when you're like, I can't believe I've been listening to this for yeah. four minutes and you said nothing. Here's yeah, here's <laughs> here's what I wonder though. At the very end of of RDJ's uh, acceptance <laughs> speech, if he were to just go, anyways, I hope Biden gets four more years. Did they have the exact On same a dime. commentary? <laughs> here's the problem. Yeah, no, look, by the way, all right. I mean, enough of this guy. But is there anything else? I love. Moves. I just love Vinny so much. Like I told Vic because he said. Be some picture of Vinny with Donald Trump. Oh yeah, I'd be so starstruck if I saw Vinny in, like that in guy. the world. Yeah, I'd be starstruck. <laughs> you would just talk. Are we allowed to sneeze on the show? I sneeze. I don't know what the rules. Stupid. Well, next time go outside, but that's fine. I got he, he, but, he, like, but no, I want to show the part where he because the other thing in the Oscars that Jimmy Kimmel did was he read oh, a the, Trump thing, the Trump yeah. thing, which I thought was pretty funny. Yeah, and it felt like oh, this is cool. This is live. This is actually happening. Yeah, um, and Trump. The whole, I mean, imagine if you were Trump or you were anybody that is so, um, like, thought, so um, sort of thought of as a ridiculous person that you could, re that's, you could read something that you wrote and everyone laughs at it. It's, and it's for the untouched. wrong reasons. It's not punched up. It's yeah, just real. Like, people are laughing for the, not the reasons exactly. you intended. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this guy, Vinny, is such a bootlicker for Trump that he's laughing the way Trump intended it to be read. Or yeah. the, you know, the, he laughed at the jokes in the tweet. Yeah. Which he is not and never can be. <laughs> Get Back up rid a of bit. Kimmel and perhaps replace this got a, a review. No, no. He no, no. Seconds. Do you have the third? Yeah, I fast forwarded it to right here. For okay, his podcast ahead. slip. Dressed as nicer Good than morning, any share. nice thing Good that I dressed you. up I at my nicest a, level. A and, um, <laughs> <laughs> You'd look ridiculous in that outfit. Has there ever been a worse host than Jimmy Kimmel at the Oscars? Fact. Fact. He says his Vinny. opening was that of a less than average person trying too hard to be something which he is not and never can be. <laughs> Fact. Get rid of Kimmel and perhaps replace him with Watch another washed up but cheap ABC talent. George Slopinopoulos. <laughs> he would make everybody on stage look bigger, laugh. stronger, and more glamorous. Blah, blah, blah. Make America great again. <laughs> wow. By the way, how funny. funny. Slopinopoulos. Yeah. Slopinopoulos. <laughs> so he gets it wrong. Gets he it didn't wrong. even get Slack. the core of the <laughs> joke, <laughs> which is just the word slop. <laughs> <laughs> Vinny is trying so hard to feel like... Snopocophagus. That was actually pretty fucking funny, I gotta Sarcophagus. say. Sarcophagus. Yeah. No, what? <laughs> I'm just shit-canning your own point of view here, I, I hope, Vinny. I hope this... Vinny, your vest's on too tight. I'm just going to say, Go I hope our... Because they're watching a video and commenting on it, and then we're watching them watch a video. Comment. I hope someone watches this watching mm -hmm. us. Oh, please uh, do that. But, they, going, but they've yeah. got to be on the other side. Yeah. Like, these idiots. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's got to keep going back yeah. and It's going to be like the cover of Uma Guma on the Pink Floyd record. <laughs> uh, anyways. MC Escher... Podcast. I, it's already 11 o'clock, man. What the, head, what the hell happened? Flying. Full podcast inception. Fun. Now fun you got to be having a good time. Fun and I love this. Yeah. Everyone comes in and says that. And Can I, you know what I feel like I do? I, I, talking about Stern. Yeah. Um, uh, when Artie Lang was on Stern, I always thought, yeah, they do got to get up super early. Yeah. But I always thought, what a fun gig. He just kind of gets to sit with his coffee and just get involved when he wants to. Yeah, he, and I he always is. thought that's the greatest. If you're a comic, that's the greatest non-stage gig you could possibly get. Oh yeah, you just <laughs> roll just, in in your pajamas essentially. Yeah. And, and I think this is the closest I get to do that. You well, have no expectation. Although I will of me. say, uh, like, listen, because sometimes I do listen back, or it's on like, the old shows. That's like kind of becomes kind of the cringiest era of that show because oh, really? <laughs> Stern plays so much into Artie's home of, and it's right at the end of like. Where homophobia is kind of just normal in And you're saying comedy. don't do that the next hour. <laughs> Usually we keep it pretty homophobic uh, light. Less. Yeah. No, but, light. Light. But on that show you have like Artie Lang, like, ah, you fucking guys kissing each other. Hey! Like, <laughs> and Stern's like, no! Like, but Stern, like, like you, he goes with He it. goes down to his level yeah, a little yeah, bit. Yeah. And it's like, guys, this is not aging yeah. well at all. Yeah, yeah. On that note, join us at patreon.com slash office hours live. We're going to take a quick break. If you need to use the men's room, please, hopefully, by the way. <laughs> by the way. Go, by the way. By the way. By the way. It's so windy out here. I hope we don't walk out and there's a tree on top of my house. But, by the way. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it kills me. By the way. By the way. So we'll be back in five with your calls. We've got a Three Stooges game, oh, I hope. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> a do. Three Stooges game in. that I've been requesting for weeks now, and I can't wait to play it with you. And we'll be back shortly. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.
patreon.com slash office hours live. Patreon.com slash office hours live. Get the full show, full show, get the full show. Get the full show. Hey, go, 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 get the full show at patreon.com slash office hours. Hurry, hurry, hurry up and type into the web browser patreon.com slash office hours live. Go ahead and get the full show. Become a patron. Have a fun. Have laughs. Patreon.com slash office hours live at patreon.com slash office hours live.